Defense Central attended this year's edition of DSEI, Europe's largest defense and security exhibition, held at London's Excel from the 9th to the 12th of September. This year's edition hosted over 1,700 exhibitors from more than 35 nations and welcomed around 60,000 visitors across four days. We've already covered many of the headline unveilings in our previous videos, including new missiles, armored vehicles, and unmanned systems. If you haven't seen them yet, the links are in the description below. In this final video, we're taking a closer look at some of the additional platforms, international pavilions, and industry announcements that stood out at DSEI 2025. Let's dive in. One of the clearest signals from this year's DSEI was the emphasis on how defense is evolving, not only through new platforms, but also through how governments, industry, and armed forces prepare for the future. The UK's official theme, Preparing the Future Force, set the tone for the week. Across the dedicated forums, discussions turned to digital transformation, supply chain security, and workforce readiness. A special next-gen track highlighted the need to attract and train talent, reminding everyone that modernization isn't just about equipment, but also about people and processes. That theme carried directly into the tech zone, where innovation often meant software, networks, and small-scale systems rather than tanks and missiles. Startups and SMEs played a prominent role this year, presenting tools for AI-enhanced situational awareness, resilient data infrastructure, and wireless communications designed for harsh field environments. Among them, Takiver introduced its AR3 EVO unmanned aerial system, notable for its modularity. Its airframe, payloads, and communications units can all be swapped out in the field, allowing forces to adapt quickly to different missions. Motorola Solutions highlighted a scalable mesh networking system that can form secure, low-latency connections even when parts of the network are disrupted, a capability increasingly vital for operations in contested environments. From Spain, Archimea presented its brand-new Grifo launcher, a compact system designed to rapidly deploy Q-SLAM 40 loitering drones for precision strikes. By offering rapid mobile firepower in a small footprint, the system reflects the growing role of loitering munitions as a standard feature of modern arsenals. Estonia's Milrem Robotics, already well known for its Themis unmanned ground vehicle, used DSEI 2025 to unveil the Havoc 8x8 robotic combat vehicle for the first time in Europe. Built for manned-unmanned teaming, Havoc integrates hybrid electric propulsion with modular weapon stations ranging from autocannons to anti-tank missiles, adding another layer to the growing family of unmanned ground systems now entering the market. Finally, a number of Asian manufacturers closed the week with high-profile reveals of their own. South Korea's Kia showcased the Tasman, a multi-role 4x4 vehicle that can switch between troop transport, logistics, and command configurations. At Excel, the company demonstrated its blackout control system, allowing crews to instantly reduce their electronic and visual signature for battlefield survivability. From Singapore, ST Engineering introduced the Bronco 3, the latest evolution of its articulated all-terrain carrier, alongside a new light reconnaissance and strike concept vehicle. Both underline the company's push to offer mobile platforms that can handle difficult terrain while carrying substantial weapon loads, reinforcing the trend toward versatility and modular design. Which of these new systems do you think will shape the future battlefield? Let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed our coverage of DSEI 2025, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Defense Central for more insights on the latest defense news and analysis. Make sure to stay tuned for our upcoming full review videos, where we'll take a closer look at some of the systems unveiled in London this year.